Jessica Birch joins us now for a closer look at why we're calling today a first alert weather day. It's easy to tell as soon as you step outside. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And right now this morning, within the past hour, Amanda, the National Weather Service has just been highlighting our map throughout the Bay Area with a flood advisory. It started off in Solano County and wrapped all the way over into Sonoma and Napa County, Marin, and now it's all the way down into San Mateo County, too. What does the flood advisory mean? Well, Essentially, it means that these flooding conditions are starting to become a nuisance in local areas, especially if you live in those low-lying intersections. Urban and small streams are starting to flood and swell. And taking a look at the rain, we're still dealing with active rain all throughout the Bay Area, impacting that morning commute. Whether you're heading to school, to work, no matter where you're going this morning, this does cause a very big inconvenience, especially out there on the roads. But to add to that, we've been talking about downed trees and power outages from last week's storm. And this is a repeat of last week's storm. So take a look at what we're currently looking at. All the way into San Francisco, we're seeing some heavy pockets of rain there. That ranges along the peninsula, down into the San Cruz Mountains, where, like I said, all morning long, we're going to start seeing that really ramp up throughout the Santa Cruz Mountains. Here we go all the way off into the East Bay, though lighter conditions there but look at this strong band that's just pushing through the peninsula right now that's going to track over to the east bay within the next 30 minutes so prepare for that here we go all the way up into the north bay if you drive along 101 well we're starting to see some heavy pockets of rain really impacting that commute area too so long story short the rain is not done just yet on a scale from one to five this atmospheric river that's impacting us is a three it's a moderate and that's what we were dealing with last week so if you Take it all the way back to last week and remember the impacts that you experienced in your local area. That's what we're going to be seeing today with the fact that we're also seeing gustier winds this afternoon, too. Look at this. Here we go into Futurecast. Widespread heavy showers all the way into that 7 o'clock hour, really tracking off into the east. This is just within the next 50 minutes, folks. And here we go all the way into that 8 o'clock hour. Heavy storms expected from Ukiah, ranging down into the Marin headlands. This is what we're going to be dealing with even into that afternoon setup. Notice how it kind of tracks north, and then there's just a little bit of instability still in the atmosphere that's going to show on the models as we head all the way into that 4 o'clock hour. A little bit of leftover showers there, and believe it or not, we're going to clear up just by midnight tonight, leaving us with clear skies for our Wednesday forecast Thursday, too. In total, we're expected to see about an inch of rain throughout the Bay Area just from this system alone. And like I mentioned, gusty conditions, too. Wind speeds anywhere up to 50 miles per hour just along the coastline within the next two hours. I'll time that out better coming up within the next 15 minutes. But for the next seven days, we're looking at a little bit of a break with more rain right around the corner. Gian